Hey there, Jeffrey here, beauty director here at Sephora. Hi everyone, David, beauty director at Sephora as well. And we're back with another installment of... Sephora 6! Oh, well, so Sephora exciting. 3. 3 and 3. three. And three. Yes. We decided to play fair and yes. split it between the two of us. Yes. So he'll take three, I'll take three. Yes. But basically, if you're new to Sephora 6, this mm -hmm. is basically our Hall of Fame, all-star, must-have products, right? Yes. And I know for this one, because we've done a couple of these before. We've mm -hmm. done a skincare, we've done a brushes one. You guys can see those in, like, in the videos in the past. But so this one we kind of focused a little bit more on like things that kit. we use as our as our professional yeah. makeup artists. Yeah, uh -huh. Like what we really gravitate towards. I know for me, I shoot a lot of editorials. I'm always working on different skin types, skin tones, mm -hmm. different looks, different styles. And for me, these products have always been there over years. For me, I'm grabbing for them. I mm -hmm. know they're going to perform. There is there is tried and true. Tried and true. Mm -hmm. Tried and true. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I love new products. You love new products. We rotate them in quite regularly because we want to feel them. We want to experience them so we can tell you how much we like them. And also, you never know what's going to be the next Sephora sex. you got to right. try something new to find out if it's the right thing for you. But there are those products that are core products. That just stand out. That like. Like you're like, you touch it, I'll cut your hand off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, don't go near it. It's yeah. mine. Private reserve. Mine. Yeah. Private reserve. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so without further fun. idea, or without further ado, I think mm -hmm. we should jump right into it and really talk about it. Now, I know your first product yes. has been a favorite of yours for years. Since it, since it launched. Yeah, for sure. So for me, this is, I, I literally can't tell you how much I go for this. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. Now, guys, actually, he has this. He has every shade kind every of shade. cut up and put into cut a little palette. Cut up and palette. put into, like, a so palette. he keeps everything with him on set all times. I always see him pull this product out. Always. My palette is... I have to constantly refill it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of reasons why I love this so much. So, one, it's... Cream foundations are a secret gem among foundations. I know they've sort of like kind of come and gone in mm -hmm. sort of terms of popularity. Mm -hmm. They will always be the best way to build full coverage. Right, because it's that perfect balance of hydration and dryness, yes. right? Like you're getting that that right sweet spot yes. that's going to give you durability in the durability makeup. Durability and build a, true buildability. Build yeah. Now what I love about this one is it is super hydrating and unbelievably skin-like. Mm -hmm. I have, n like, never worked with any product that has been so skin-like on so many different skin types. Like, it's yeah. insane to me, you guys. You must try that. And like, I don't care if you put it on with a beauty blender, your fingers, yes. a brush, a natural synthetic, it's whatever. Amazing. It looks good no matter how you apply it. How you apply yeah. it. And here's the thing with this also. What I have found is it's great also as a retouch tool. Actually, mm -hmm. it's the best retouch tool I've ever had. So a lot of times when I'm shooting, I'm on set with a model changing the makeup for eight hours in a day, multiple different looks. And obviously, we're setting the makeup, right? We're not just putting on a foundation and leaving it without a powder. You have to set a little bit, especially under lights and yeah. heat. It's of possibly course. outside. I have found with this particular product, I can actually, even if there's a powder on there, if I need to do some cleaning up, if I need to refresh the concealer. You can build right on top. I can build right mm -hmm. on top yep. of the powder. Yep. It is no cakiness. It is so hydrating, it is so emollient, it is such a perfect formula that it literally blends right back into the skin. It looks flawless. You can tell I love it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. Like I, I literally am like shaking perfect. how much I love it. Perfect. <laughs> now there are those times when I'm on set and I do find that I'll use a new foundation or something like that and I unexpectedly, the foundation will dry out really quickly on the skin and I'll see like there'll be some oh, texture yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So a product that I love and that I've been grabbing yeah. lately is actually from Dr. Robux, and this is the Bondi Hydrating Mist. Mm -hmm. Now, so I ran lovely. into this product. We actually ran into yeah, this we product. Yeah, we at the party Yeah, together. we went to a rooftop party a couple, mm -hmm. uh, last, last summer. Like a year ago, yeah. yeah. And we, re we met the founders of Dr. Robux, and they introduced us to this product, and mm -hmm. I became quickly obsessed. Yeah. I feel like it's like a spray moisturizer. It is. That's exactly what it, before, it is. Right? Oh, yeah, I was just spraying yeah. it before. Yeah, um, I love it. It is literally, that's a good way to say it. It's more than just a mist. Mist, yeah. It's like a spray moisturizer. Right, so if, I, if I've built a complexion, and I find that it's drying out, I can spray this on top and it mm -hmm. will literally work its way through the foundation, oh, yeah. 
plump up the skin mm -hmm. and give a really beautiful radiance. Absolutely, it's mm -hmm. also really good for like legs. Mm -hmm. Like if you just wanna quickly, like if you're about to walk out the door and you're like, oh, like I know spritz. I do that for models a lot. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. and then it's like glowing, quick beautiful, mm -hmm. hydrated, like body quick, fast, you know, yeah. I love it. Now there's amazing ingredients in here, which I really love about Dr. Robux in general is that they bring yes. really unique, yes. I think, couture ingredients yes. to the forefront. So you've got cockadoo plum, which is gonna be a really great source of vitamin C. Say that too. Cockadoo, cockadoo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. So it's got cockadoo pong, which is gonna give a really beautiful radiance, so you're getting an instant glow from this product. Then you've got cucumber and vitamin B3, which are gonna be soothing and calming. Yeah, so really cucumber. Great, right, of course, so really great for kind of um, minimizing redness, mm -hmm. anything that's peeking through. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, this has the most amazing smell It does have, ever. The, the smell is very aromatherapeutic. Yes, it's part of the reason why I love yeah. it so much is I literally will just carry it around and spray myself and I'm instantly transported to a vacation. Mm -hmm. Like it's 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 uh, de-stressing. Yes, it's, it's so calming. calming. Yeah. All the while, again, reawakening mm -hmm. the skin, giving it that mm -hmm. fresh boost of hydration, and sort of waking the foundation back up. I love that. Cool. I love that. What you got next? Okay, so here's another one of mine. This was a this was an odd find actually. Mm -hmm. This is Urban Decay's 24/7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Rush. If you guys have been watching our channel for a long time, you probably asked in many of my videos, what did you put on her lip? And you've seen me say, Herbert K lip liner, 27 Rush. Like, I've answered you guys so many times with this, and I'm like, they probably think I'm lying, but I'm not. I randomly, Urban Decay had sent us this line when it mm -hmm. first launched, which was quite a few years ago. Yeah, the 24 seven lip pencils have been around Quite a few a years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was going on to set to do a shoot and I knew I was gonna be doing pink tones and I just saw this and I grabbed it. And when I went and put it on the girl, I was like, what, wait, what's Blown going on away. here? Yeah. I was like, something's happening. So I really took a look and here's what makes this super special. I think As I know what you're gonna say. Yes, you know yeah, what I'm gonna I say. I think I know what you're gonna say. So, Aside from all the great attributes that it has as a lip liner, it's it's a wonderful waterproof. It's definitely gonna lock you know lock the your stuff, oil. everything yeah. in it. There's so many great things that you can just look up on the page that are mm -hmm. fantastic. What I want to talk about is what I've discovered, which is the color. Mm -hmm. First of all, this color is probably one of the most universal, perfectly suited natural mauvey pinky lip tones. I've ever worked with. It's like that medium mauve, right? Her the and I've used mauve. it on pale pale to deep deep. Uh -huh. And here's the secret thing about this. This is what makes this so special. Inside that color, it and I'm gonna try it and see. Yes, I, if you we might have to try it. and zoom I hope in. You can see it. There are yeah. tiny, tiny flecks of like silver. silver. Yeah, I knew it. Tiny I knew flecks you were of say silver. That. Yes. And it's not, you don't notice it. What it does is it creates the look of a hydrated, hydrated lip. Mm -hmm. So even though it's a matte, even though it's waterproof, even though it's not gonna move and it's not sticky and it's not glossy, your lips look plumper. Mm -hmm. You, I use this over the whole lip. Yeah. I put on a lip balm, I line the lip and I Fill it in. It every time I use it, every model, every person, every time I put it on a on a one of our models here, I get a million questions about like, what's, what on, her what's, what on, her what what's on her lip. What's on her lip? What's on her lip? It's literally just this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is it. This is your perfect lip. Mm -hmm. It is like I covet this so much. Mm -hmm. This is another product that is. Always, the forefront of my lip pencils, it's like right there. I'm it like, is, where's it's, Rush? It's where's Rush? Color. Mine it's is about color. down to here right now, so this one's coming with me. I can't tell you enough, guys. Just try this, and I guarantee you, it will become a staple, probably something you'll use almost every, every day. single day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah. Every I'm, day. I'm obsessed with that shade. For I sure. turned you on to yeah, that one too. Yeah, you see, you're like, what sure. do you keep putting on? And I'm yeah, like, for Rush, sure. girl! Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Okay, cool. So next up for me is actually gonna be a complexion product that I fell in love with on a trip with the brand. Yes. So um, a couple months ago, I actually got to go to Hawaii with Becca for yes. the launch of Becca Skin Love. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, I was there for the launch of the product, but I didn't <laughs> know that I was gonna, uh, thank you for taking me to Hawaii. But yes, exactly. what really the best thing that came out of the whole trip was falling in love with this foundation. Yes. I am obsessed with the texture of this product. Yes. Um, I've been wearing it myself yeah, on you camera. Were 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been my complexion of choice for yes. the past like three or four months. Mm -hmm. And what I really, really love about it is the the finish. Mm -hmm. It gives you that sort of skin-like, hydrated finish. I don't know if you want to play with it. Yeah. Now, when I first saw the product, it was crazy because I saw a lot of the marketing for it before I went. And I only saw it like really three, beautiful. I could only see, see like three shades in all the images, but really there's 24 yeah. shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, remember so that. so amazing, yeah. yes. And what's really cool is that they sort of flex. Yeah. So I would say, I would maybe double or triple that amount because you're going to get, it, it basically yeah. moves with the skin. Yeah. Um, so you get like a really soft focus filter. Now yeah, it's got beautiful. that, yeah, it's got a glow elixir complex built mm -hmm. into it. So you've got um, a bunch of antioxidants, a lot of botanical fruit extracts that really give a beautiful radiance mm -hmm. to the skin. Um, and then and again. And a little bit of blurring. And too. a little bit of blurring. It's not yeah. super high, it's not super glowy without a little bit of blur. It's a nice balance of the two. Right. And I've been loving to put it on with like a big damp beauty mm -hmm. blender and sort of kind of press it in and I'll find mm -hmm. that it builds coverage on itself really, really right. nicely. So uh, all in all, I just have to say if you're looking for a foundation that's really going to move with you, feel comfortable throughout the day and mm -hmm. look amazing no matter what environment you're going right. to be in, this is definitely one to grab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you've been very much in love with that. I'm recently. obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, so my final product is one that you've heard me talk about a trillion times. You guys have too. This is my favorite mascara ever. Definitely a set staple. We use it here at the studio all the time. It has since... Since I was in store, mm -hmm. like I started using this when I worked as a senior artist in store. Mm -hmm. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. It does all those four things that you think. It gives you volume, it gives you length, it gives you curl, and it actually conditions and nourishes your lashes. Because there are ingredients in here which are hydrating. They help to keep your lashes healthy. So it's wonderful in all those aspects, but there's one particular thing about this that I love so much. So it's twofold. The wand itself mm -hmm. with the formula works so well together. It's a smaller wand with a little bit of a denser bristle. Mm -hmm. So it really picks up exactly the amount of product that you need. But and those every bristle lash. and combs through, through them. them. Yeah, it's so, not just like it's just gonna put a bunch of product. No. Like it, it, it feathers through really that's nicely. The, and that's the thing, that's my key is I'm a fan of feathery lashes. Mm. That's my thing. Like. I love a clumpy lash every okay now and then that, for an yeah. editorial look I like or something. Lashes. <laughs> right, I, and I get it, and I yeah. dig it, and I have other mascaras that are always with me. But in general, mm -hmm. I love a beautiful, feathered, full lash. Mm -hmm. No clumps, it just looks perfection. It's so easy to use. It literally has been my favorite mascara for so long. And and I and I just I keep going back to it. I love it. I always have loved this product. You love guys it. tart. You guys did it well. You did it well. Love ya. Okay, so last up, it's actually yes. a product that you really love too. Yes, so I think I, all of us fell in love yeah, with this Yeah, all of our products have been pre-shared. Yeah. So, I mean, Sephora 6 and not splitting it three, it's like yeah. really these are our Sephora yeah, yeah, 6 yeah, together yeah. anyway. We're like the practically the same person. Yes, and we work, right? well, we work <laughs> a lot together too. We do. I'm like, we love the same yeah. stuff. Anyway, so first, or next up we have from Bite Beauty, this is the Agave Lip Mask. Oh, now, yes. I really love this product. I actually use this on set too a lot. Um, one of my favorite things but to you do have the with shades it. Too. Yeah, it actually comes in five shades now. So there's the original, which is the one I carry in my kit. So that way, yeah, you know, it's the like, original is great. Yeah, yeah, it's like a translucent, but it's actually infused with agave, which is really hydrating. So you think of it, it's a desert plant. It grows mm -hmm. in arid climates, very dry, yet it still flourishes and lives. Yes. So it's got it. Basically, they harness that power and put yes. it into your lips. So you're pulling moisture from the air, yes. giving you really beautiful hydration throughout the day. I mean, I <sighs> in I'm a New Yorker. I live in New York. Yeah. Our winters are so brutal. Mm -hmm. I have never met anyone who suffered from chapped lips, painful dry lips, who hasn't used Use this, this product, product, who mm -hmm. I haven't been like, hey, try this out. And they're like, what was that magical ointment and you it gave lasts, me? It like, lasts forever. Ever. I have like a tube will last you for four years. Ever. <laughs> yeah. So literally, literally, it's just it's it really so does. rich and balmy that you can yeah. literally put it on at nighttime as an overnight yeah. mask to leave it to prep your lips for in the morning. Yeah. But what I love to do with it is I'll I'll actually start my makeup application. Right. This is the first, first product that I grab. Mm -hmm. And I'll put that on the lips and let the yeah. lips sort of 
marinate yep. while I'm working through the rest of the makeup. Yep. So they're really nice and supple yeah. for when I get to the lip step, which is generally last yep. for me. Now it comes in- I was um, gonna say, you gotta mention yeah, the colors It comes now. in a whole bunch of different colors now because uh, everybody loved the original so much yes. that they wanted to expand it. This is the one yeah. I was, what I was oh, looking yeah. for. That's the, that's the pinky the, one. The champagne one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then so there's Crush, which is like a really beautiful sort of berry color that's really great for just kind of giving the lips a soft blush. You can see it's really translucent. So this is great to kind of toss on. Yeah. Actually, I can put some on right now. You that's, can see. A nice, that's a good color. I mean, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. That one has that really Wait, beautiful kind of like better gold. I'm not voguing That with gold it again. shift, which is really, really nice. This one is so nice. I'm going to put a lot of it so you can see, but like... Look at how gorgeous that mm -hmm. is. I've been <laughs> using the lavender one a lot at nighttime because it's like oh, that's cool. really soothing. And that purple color just kind of gives the lips sort of like a natural flush. This is so pretty. And they smell amazing. They smell amazing, yeah. feel amazing. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous glide on mm -hmm. the lips. Like it's never gonna feel sticky or yep. tacky or gross. Like all mm -hmm. the while just giving you the most amazingly beautiful hydration. Yeah. Like I am obsessed with this product. Well, that's pretty much it. That's our that Sephora so thing. I, I love doing these yes. i could talk to you guys about my favorite products yes, all day all exactly. day me too. i could literally just be Definitely. like and i love this and i love this one yeah. and this one's really good for that <laughs> so as with every sephora six video <laughs> we want to hear your sephora six yes. so what are some of the beauty products that you're loving with you what do you take yeah. with you like what do you keep in your makeup bag be sure to jot those down because mm -hmm. we want to hear and let us know if you tried any of these if you fell in love with them or if you already are in love with them, which I'm sure some of you are. Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear that too and tell everyone why you love these products. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to the mm -hmm. channel so you guys can get new videos from us every single week. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for the next Sephora 6. We'll yes. see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.